everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet the zigzag lozenge stitch, which you can see here in front of you. Now this stitch can be worked in multiple, multiple colors or in one solid color as I have worked it here. But it features rows of, uh, alternating with rows of zigzag stitches and then these um, bobble stitches. So we're going to learn how to work this pattern today. It is the same on both sides, so it's a great reversible pattern. And it's one that's going to work up fairly quickly once you have a hang of the pattern. Today for the tutorial, I'm going to be using a 5mm crochet hook, as well as the paint box, Iran cotton yarn. And uh, links to both of these items can be found in the description of this video. Also in the description of the video, you will find a direct link to the free written crochet pattern, which is on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. So thank you so much for joining me. While you're here, I invite you to take a look around. This channel is updated weekly every Sunday with a free stitch tutorial such as this one, and there's lots of free crochet patterns as well. Our stitch today is worked in rows. So we're going to start by working a slip knot. And then by working a foundation chain, your foundation chain for this stitch will need to be a multiple of two plus three stitches. So today I'm going to chain a total of 21 chain stitches. Once you have your foundation chain worked, you're going to skip the first two chains, which counts as a half double crochet stitch, and then work a half double crochet into the next chain. Next, you're going to skip the next chain, and into the next, work one half double crochet, chain one and half double crochet all into the same chain. You're then going to repeat that all the way across to the final two chains. So skip the next chain into the next chain, work one half double crochet, chain one and half double crochet. Skip the next chain, work a half double crochet, chain one, and half double crochet into the same chain. Repeat that all the way across until you have two chains remaining. When you come all the way across, you'll have two chains remaining into your final two chains, work two, or into your final chain, you'll skip the next chain, into that final chain, work two half double crochet stitches. You're then going to chain three and turn your work. Now for row two, you're going to work one double crochet into the same stitch uh, at the end to that first stitch. So at the stitch at the base of your turning chain, work a double crochet. Now this is going to count as a double crochet two together. Next chain one, skip the uh, next half double crochet stitch and into your next chain one space, work a double crochet three together. So this is also kind of like a bobble stitch. So you're going to yarn over, insert your hook into that chain one space, yarn over and draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through two. You're going to do that two more times, all into the same space. Yarn over, insert your hook into that chain one space, yarn over and draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through two. One more time, yarn over, insert your hook into the same space, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through two. 
You'll have four loops on your hook. You're then going to yarn over and pull through all four loops. You're now going to repeat this all the way across. Chain one into the next chain one space. So skip the next half, two half double crochets into that chain one space, work a double crochet three together. So there's one, two, and three legs of my stitch, yarn over, pull through all four loops, chain one, skip the next two half double crochets, double crochet three into the next chain one space. Repeat that all the way across to the last uh, space. So when you come all the way across, you'll work your final three double, a double crochet three together into that final chain one space. And then you have three half double crochet stitches here, your two half double crochets and a chain two. When you come to the end, you're going to chain one and then work a half double crochet, or sorry, a double crochet two together into the top of your starting chain two. And that brings you to the end of row two. For row three, you can chain two, which counts as a half double crochet, and turn your work. You're then going to skip the first stitch and then into the next chain one space. So you're skipping that first stitch into the next chain one space. You're going to work a half double crochet chain one and half double crochet. You're then going to repeat that all the way across. Skip the next stitch, which is your double crochet three together, into your chain one space, work a half double crochet, chain one and half double crochet. Repeat that all the way across. When you come all the way across, you're going to end your row three with a half double crochet just into the top of your turning chain. You can then chain three, which counts as a double crochet stitch and turn your work. For row four, you're going to skip the first stitch and then work a double crochet three together into the next chain one space. Chain one into the next chain one space, work a double crochet three together. Repeat that all the way across. At the end of row four, when you come all the way across, you're going to work your final um, double crochet three together. You then you're not going to chain one, but simply work one double crochet into the top of that starting chain two. You can then chain two, which counts as a half double crochet and turn your work. For row five, begin by working a half double crochet into the first stitch. So that stitch at the base of your turning chain. Then skip the next double crochet three together and into the next chain one space, work a half double crochet, chain one and half double crochet. 
you're going to repeat that all the way across. Skip the next double crochet three together into the next chain one space, work a half double crochet, chain one and half double crochet. When you come across at the end of row five, you'll have your chain three or a double crochet three together and a chain three remaining. You're going to skip that double crochet three together and then into the top of that turning chain three, work two half double crochet stitches. And that brings you to the end of row five. Now for the rest of the pattern, you are going to repeat your rows two through to five for as long as you would like. So your row two started with a chain three, turn your work, you're going to work a double crochet into this first stitch, which counts as a double crochet two together, and then chain one, and then begin by working your double crochet threes together into your chain one spaces. So that was your row two, you're going to start there, you're going to continue on, repeat rows through to five, for as long as you would like, then fasten off and weave in your ends. And that's all there is to it when it comes to the zigzag lozenge stitch. So thank you so much for joining me. Once again, I invite you to subscribe, take a look around, and I look forward to seeing you again next week. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye.